Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing video for our Redmi Note 11 and this time this is the Evolution X official build and uh, let me show you its Android version and other details. As you can see here it is based on Android 13. Evolution X version is 7.9.7 security patch is 5 August 2023. So this ROM is kinda smooth and stable for daily usage. So in this video I will be showing you its full review and uh, what things we get in this ROM, what features we get in this ROM and is it stable for daily usage and I will also tell you how you can install it out on your Redmi Note 11. So without any further ado, let's get started. Before starting the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates. So first of all, let's start from the performance. The performance of this ROM is just nailed it. It is just awesome and uh, the battery backup of this rom is also pretty much great as you can see here the animations are also played very well every application is working smoothly and if we talk about the applications here we have here we don't have a lot of junky applications so here we only have some needed applications so in the camera here we have the gcam pre-installed in this rom so as you can see here here we have some options but i have enabled the taskbar you can simply operate the application from here it is pretty much convenient for multitasking let me turn it off and if you want to turn it on you just need to go into the uh, home settings then we have to go into the misc and from here here we have the use taskbar just turn it off and you can turn it on right from here and uh, here we have the gcam you can simply po take portraits you can also use the filters you can take videos and uh, you can also translate the uh, text right from here so it is not the modded gcam which can provide you slow, slow motion and all other features so if you want a fully working modded gcam on your uh, redmi note 11 then the download link is in the description box so after it every single thing is just working fine here we also have the papers which is the evolution x wallpaper application and uh, from the left you can access the Google feed and if we talk about the home settings here we have this evolution uh, customizable launchers first of all here we have the icon settings then we have home screen settings so a lot of options are available you can also enable the themed icons for the search bar as well and uh, double tap to sleep is also available app trial is available recent tweaks are also available which are shown at the bottom so then we have suggestions and misc in the misc we also get the option to hide and protect the applications right from here no need to download and install any third party application to protect your applications so other than that i also had a geekbench test on it it just scored 414 on single core and it scored 1458 on multi cores these scores are pretty much uh, like normal and but this rom is not normal it it just comes with a huge battery backup and the features and performance of this rom is just amazing so now let's go to the settings first of all let's have a look on the quick settings quick settings looks like typical then we have the setting ui this is also pretty much typical here we have the the evolver here we have available customizations so first of all here we have themes option here we have theming settings from here you can change the theme uh, theme style let's try this one so a lot of theme styles are available rainbow is also available so it just changes the color profile of your theme let's try this one here we have color source then we have tint background and there here we have dark theme then we have option to change phone style icon pack style wi-fi icon pack navbar style and some other icon settings then we have status bar settings here we also have icon settings you can also enable custom logo which is shown right here here you can also change the uh, its style and position here we have network indicator battery style battery percentage battery bar is also available battery bar icons uh, sorry status bar icons you can also make the color icons colorful notification count and all other options are available then we have notifications and in the notification we also have the in color vibrations then we have quick settings and uh, after it here we have power menu you can enable uh, a lot of items into the power menu as you can see here advanced reboot is also available but i accidentally clicked on reboot system so we have to wait so the advanced reboot is also available right here 
So after it, here we have gestures. In the gesture, we have system gestures. In the system gesture, we have to uh, tap to start action. You can simply select an action right from here, like screen sh take screenshot, play or pause media, and you can simply double tap on the back, and it will perform the selected task. Isn't it awesome? Then we have quickly open camera system navigation bar, one-handed mode, which is also pretty much useful. Then we have press and hold power button, double tap to check and it is also working after it here we have uh, swipe three fingers for screenshot playback control and prevent ringing after it here we have brightness control over the uh, status bar you can simply scroll on the status bar and just slide sorry you can simply slide on the status bar and it, it can adjust your uh, brightness level so then we have parallel space and other settings. So after it, Google flashlight and uh, tap on screenshot and other things. Then we have lock screen settings. So after it, here we have button settings. You can tweak into the power button and volume button settings. Then we have animations. Here we have charging animation, screen off animation, power menu animation, which are pretty much weird animations. Then you can uh, tweak into the MISC. In the MISC, we have advanced options. Here we have parallel space, game space, smart pixels, and uh, it will reduce your pixel amount from your screen and it will reduce the power consumption then we have uh, other options like unlimited photo storage uh, unlock higher fps in games network spoof jitter is also available right here so then we have ignored window flag show cpu info and other options then at the end you can read about the theme then we have uh, apps notification battery so if we talk about the battery performance the battery performance of this ROM is just amazing and uh, here we have the battery usage battery saver advanced battery saver is not available right here then we have storage sound and vibration in the sound and vibration here we have me sound enhancer which will be helpful to enhance the sounding quality and hi-fi is also available so other than that so after it here we have display in the display we have a new option which is called extra dim you can use this option if you are using your device in really dark or at night so this is pretty much useful here you have dark theme screen saver you can adjust the screen size and text size smallest width and here we have live display night light you can change the color profiles then we have the option to enable the smooth display which will automatically raise the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz from uh, 4 6 for some content like while playing games or scrolling on social media or doing high refresh rate uh, things then we have tap to wake we don't have any option to set up minimum or maximum refresh rate in this room so but smooth display option is pretty much enough so here we have wallpaper and style from here you can change the styles pre default this wallpaper is installed and here we have the other wallpapers as well then you can change the wallpaper color you can enable dark theme you can enable themed icons and you can change upgrade shortcut and other settings then we have uh, security and in this security sorry we have to go into the security where is this here we have the, so in this security we have no any issues and uh, everything is just working fine in this room every security option is available like pin is available and i am also using a fingerprint plus face unlock so let me show you the fingerprint first as you can see here the fingerprint is unlocking the device pretty much quickly and we also have the face unlock so as you can see here it is just unlocking the device quickly it is working pretty much fine even with a bad camera on our redmi note 11 so then at the end here we have a system in the system we have languages and input gestures date and time backup rules multiple users reset option thermal profiles and uh, then we have about phone section from the about phone you can check your android version which is 13 evolution x version is 7.9.7 .7. security patch of this rom is 5 august 2023 so this was the video for today i hope you guys like this video and this rom is 100 percent recommended for daily usage so if you are a guy which is looking for a custom rom that can provide you a great battery backup and a great performance then you can consider going on the evolution x so this is a all-rounder all-in-one 
custom ROM for our Android devices. So this was the video for today. If you want to start it out on your Redmi Note 11, then the download link of this ROM is in the description box. And you can simply follow the on-screen instructions to install it out on your Redmi Note 11 without having any errors. I hope you guys like this video. If you really did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any question or queries about this video, then let us know in the comment section. And you can also uh, get uh, our support on the Telegram group and channel. Telegram group and channel link is in the description box. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace. Subscribe.